received a message request on Facebook. I didn't think anything of it. I usually ignore those requests, usually spam the summit, but then my phone went off again. Jake Taylor. I didn't recognise his face from his profile, but he looked like he was in year 11. A bit taller than me. Kind of fit. I read the messages and decided to reply. He said he used to go to my school but left to do an apprenticeship. That apparently he knew all the lads at sixth form. He said he'd noticed me at the school gates and I was really beautiful. We spoke non-stop for hours all evening. He was really interested in me. I fell asleep holding my phone, big grin on my face. He woke me up with a text the next day. Morning gorgeous, he said. He made me feel amazing for the next few days. I don't think I put my phone down once. It was so cool that I had someone older than me interested. My mates would have been real jealous. Eventually he told me he wanted to meet me for real. At this point, I was sure he wasn't some creepy pedo or something, so we agreed to meet at the multi-storey car park after school the next day. I set my alarm extra early for school so I could get ready for Jake later. I did my hair and borrowed some of my mum's perfume and a tenner from her purse. I left her a note saying I'd be at mates until later. If she wouldn't mind. The day dragged so much so I decided to skip my last lesson in the toilets to get ready and hid in a cubicle. I made a proper effort with my makeup. I wanted to look older for him. I couldn't leave until school was over so I took some photos to send to him on Snapchat. I even took a snap and put a caption with him today for my story. Then the bell rang. As I walked down the road towards the car park, I started to feel nervous. What if he didn't like me in real life? I only sent him photos with filters on. What if he thought I was ugly? As I reached the doors to the car park, he had messaged me telling me to go to the fourth floor. The lift was out of order, so I had to use the stairs. It smelled awful and there was no one else around. I started to feel uneasy. I walked out into the middle of the car park and looked for him. I was completely alone up here and starting to get cold. I'd been waiting for 20 minutes before I heard a car coming up the ramp. I didn't think it was him at first. Then he pulled up next to me and called my name from the window. Jake? I asked. Come on then, he said. Get in the car.